Hey, good Monday morning, my friends. This is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Ah, what a refreshing day so far this morning. Live from downtown Frankenmuth. I thought, hey, let's take a walk and talk some weather. How does that sound? First off, the weekend, we feel for the folks that had some damage. Uh, Port Austin, a tornado, several tornadoes, Ionia County, uh, Macosta County, uh, several homes damaged. And hopefully the communities are going to help them rebuild. And uh, for most of us, two to four inches of great rain. And that's what we certainly needed. And it has helped things out tremendously. Tremendously. Hey, I just made a word. Tremendously and immensely. Hey, good morning, Kingsley. And good morning, Bill Clairvoyant. Uh, this is MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa from downtown Frankenmuth. Rain, rain does it for the plants. You know, God and Mother Nature have the right formula for everything. We can try and water, 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 but God and rain and Mother Nature do it just right for the plants. Hey, there's a nice, interesting one. I'm not sure I know what that one is, but nice looking planting there all right so my little tease to you was that uh you know i used my wife as the litmus test for how you're feeling about the coming forecast and i watch her i watch her watch tv weather cast oh it's gonna rain all the time here in the next week and should we even go up north for the 4th of July? I'm telling you, the weather forecast is not as bad as what your app du jour may make you think. Okay, I know it says rain, 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 but here is the real scoop, and I will give you that. Um, today, southwest corner, you could get some showers in the afternoon. That's Kalamazoo, Grand Rapids, Battle Creek, maybe Jackson, Lansing. And then that moves into the southeast quarter of the state. Saginaw, Bay City, Midland, uh, Flint, Ann Arbor, Detroit, the Thumb. This evening, overnight. That's maybe a quarter to a half inch of rain. Then we have another batch of showers and thunderstorms tomorrow. Tomorrow looks fairly showery. Wednesday looks very showery. About a three hour burst in any one spot. Yeah, long light here in Frankenmuth. We'll get on the road here in just a moment. Oh, here we go. I think. Yes. Um, so Tuesday, Wednesday, fairly showery thunderstorms. Thursday, Cold front coming in from the north. Whoa, cold front. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's going to dry us out. And how do we end a showery pattern? We end it with drier, cooler air from the northeast. It's just got to happen, but it sets us up for a great scenario for the weekend. Okay, so we got Thursday, mostly dry. The cold front coming through. Some indications, uh period of showers as the cold front comes through that'd be a couple of hours late Thursday then drier northeast wind Friday if you have a clean the garage out type of day or something with sunshine cooler weather it's Friday temperatures upper 60s to low 70s some of you would call that just picture perfect for summer and then Saturday tack on about five degrees call it mid to upper 70s with full-blown sunshine okay and then Sunday fourth tack on another five degrees call it about 83 to 85 most places in lower Michigan with full-blown sunshine bad no fantastic and then uh, July 5th Right now, tack on another couple of degrees, put it to about 85 to 87. And by the way, the long range forecast says that we'll probably, you know, want this rain this week, this next half inch to inch and a half, because then we'll be dry after that for a week or so. And we'll look for no extreme heat, but we'll look for temperatures in the, uh, well, probably the 85 to 88 degree range. So, 
They're working on flowers out here in Frankenmuth. Rain helps, doesn't it? Morning. So there you have it, folks. We're coming up to the coming up to the you know visitors area. If you haven't been to Frankenmuth, it's it's a one day stop. You know you can you can do stuff here for eight hours. You could certainly eat a lot, and you could drink some, but not drive, obviously. And uh, you can shop some. People can golf some. I sound like I'm on the Frankenmuth uh, Visitors Bureau or whatever, something like that. Morning. Oh, hey, this is a good looking bed, flower bed right here. What do we got? Uh, Hmm, Celosia, maybe? I don't know. Periwinkle? Xenias. I like Xenias because they're durable. There's the Clematis, or do you say Clematis? I don't know which way it is. So, there you have it. Um, I just wanted to get the point out that the weather forecast going into the 4th of July, to me, looks absolutely gorgeous. You're talking a cool, comfortable Friday dry. You're talking a modified summer feel on Saturday, not a bake on the lake. 4th of July, you're talking a bake on the lake, but not overbaked. And July 5th, you're talking starting to get to where... If somebody likes it at 90 degrees, you'll be happy. And all four of those days, notice mentioned sunshine. After another half inch to inch and a half of rain here over the next couple of days, three shots, um, probably nothing extremely severe, marginal chance of severe late tomorrow afternoon and Wednesday afternoon. That would mean an isolated quick wind gust is about it. So, hey, thanks for joining me on the MLive Morning Weather Update, live from downtown Frankenmuth. And uh, we'll see you back here again tomorrow. I'm MLive Chief Meteorologist Mark Torgrosa. Have yourselves a great Monday.